Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet, and I've seen quite a bit of attention about a new proposed stimulus package where people can get $2,000 or more per month, depending on their situation. But I haven't seen much talked about about the proposal of a rent and mortgage cancellation. So let's take a look at this and what it could mean for you. I'll mention though, I'm not interested in talking politics of the situation. I'm only bringing you the numbers and information here. Now, if you want a simple way to help out this channel, consider giving the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. And it really seems people are more focused on the possibility of another stimulus check because it just seems to be the hot topic right now when you're searching on YouTube. But I find the mortgage and rent cancellation proposal pretty interesting. Now, while the stimulus check has income requirements and would exclude people above a certain income threshold, the mortgage and rent cancellation proposal would not be limited based on income. And there is no doubt that a $2,000 or more check per month would be super helpful for people. But this proposal encompasses a larger number of individuals. And this bill proposal is looking to retroactively start back on March 13th of 2020 and would continue for 30 days after the national emergency is declared over. And since the proposal is looking to be passed with a retroactive date, if you did make a rent or mortgage payment in April, renters and homeowners would be reimbursed for those payments. Then the proposed bill also has a few other benefits for renters and people with mortgages. In first, you wouldn't see any negative impact on your credit score or renter's history. You wouldn't have any accumulation of debt, and during this time period, rent and mortgage payments, including interest on your mortgages of your primary residence, would be forgiven or canceled out. The key here is primary residence. If you're someone who has multiple properties, let's say like a vacation home, you couldn't get relief for all of those properties, only your primary one. And during these times, renters couldn't be fined or evicted in this time period as well. And if a landlord or bank did penalize or fine you, then they themselves could be facing some pretty big fines. It looks like for their first offense, it would be $5,000, $10,000 for their second offense, in $50,000 or forfeiture of property after three or more violations. But if you are a landlord, then there would be a relief fund that would cover your losses of rent while payments are being canceled. But these would come with some strings attached to them and these look like they're geared towards helping making rent more affordable for people, which unless you're a landlord sitting on tons and tons of cash, you would think those people would have to accept the terms so they can get paid. And if you are a landlord and you were to accept the terms of this proposed bill, it looks like this bill would be locking you into a five-year binding commitment. And if you were to break or violate this commitment, the government could come back and take their money from you. And some of the strings attached would include a rent freeze, which you wouldn't be able to increase your monthly rent for a five-year period. Evictions couldn't happen without a just cause. Landlords couldn't refuse rent based on source of income, and there are a whole laundry list of other restrictions as well. And landlords and banks can't come back to their tenants or mortgage holders and say they owe money after this agreement is up. So you can't get a bill in the mail or be told, hey, you owe X amount of dollars for lack of rent increase over the last five years. Now I know, the attention goes right to those $2,000 stimulus checks, but having your rent or mortgage paid for is not a bad potential offering as well because it takes a bill off the table for people during this economic situation. And according to LendingTree, the average mortgage payment in the United States is just over $1,000. And the average rent payment according to Rent Cafe was about $1,500 per month. And sure, yours may be more or less than that, but not having to worry about another payment isn't a bad thing. Now remember, this is only a proposed bill at this point and things can change from when a bill is introduced to even if it finishes. And while this is an interesting bill proposal, I realistically don't think this one's gonna get passed and become reality. But hey, who knows, maybe I'll be wrong here and it will. We'll just have to wait and see. And if it does become reality, I'll be sure to let you know. So tell me, what are your thoughts on rent and mortgage payments potentially being canceled? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you wanna help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And if you know somebody who could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, Good travels and take care.